Hey guys! Bored in the house? Here are some action movies which will surely make up her day. So let's get this video started. The action movie is resilient. Even in the middle of a global health crisis, with theaters closing and films getting pushed from the release calendar, the action genre has found ways to thrive in different corners of moviedom, evolving in the realm of VOD and on streaming platforms. Fans still want to see teams of commandos fight bad guys, cops throw their badges across tables, and assassins go rouge. That's not going to change. Like last year's list, the goal here is to celebrate the best action titles of 2020 on the big screen and on streaming sites, which could mean superhero epics, foreign language slugfests, and, more likely than not, at least one movie starring Vin Diesel. So let's get this video started. 5. Bloodshot. With F9, the next chapter in the NOS-powered Fast and Furious saga, pushed to 2021 because of the outbreak of the coronavirus, Vin Diesel fans will have to make do with Bloodshot, a frenzied adaptation of a popular Valiant Comics title first published in the 90s. Like many non-fast thrillers from Diesel, the results are a mixed bag, emphasizing the star's muscular frame, gravely voice, and no-nonsense attitude while failing to fully activate his oddball charisma. He plays Ray Garrison, a gun-toting Marine who gets brutally murdered by some shady assassins and brought back to life by an even shadier biotech corporation headed up by Guy Pierce's smarmy, sweater-wearing Dr. Emil Harding. Outfitted with a combination of Deadpool-like regeneration abilities and Limitless-like mental gifts, Garrison becomes a vengeance-driven hired gun for the company, but he soon discovers that his boss might be tinkering with his memories to get the desired results. Despite some ultra-choppy, borderline incomprehensible action sequences, Bloodshot has a handful of clever science fiction concepts, charming supporting performances, and Groundhog Day-ish twists that elevate it above many of Diesel's lackluster non-fast blockbuster attempts. 4. VFW Paying tribute to a number of John Carpenter films, most importantly the Siege classic Assault on Precinct 13, this action-horror hybrid from genre specialist Joe Bigos announces its nostalgic intentions with the first notes of the woozy synth score on the soundtrack. Set in a near future where drug-addled punks wander the streets looking for their next hit, the movie centers around a group of hardened, no-bullshit veterans who drink their days away at the local VFW hall. The bartender Fred, played with the requisite grizzled charm by 67-year-old Stephen Lang, is celebrating his birthday, but the arrival of a young woman on the run, Sierra McCormick, throws a wrench in his plans. Soon, Fred and his fellow old-timers, including George Went from Cheers and blaxploitation legend Fred Williamson, are barricading their watering hole and preparing for a different type of war than the ones they fought overseas. While the movie only tentatively explores the intergenerational tensions of its premise, Bigos delivers the splatter-filled gore effects VOD viewers expect from these low-budget B-movies. Mostly, it's a blast to see Lang, gripping in supporting turns in recent films like Don't Breathe and Avatar, take on a starring role. 3. Blood on Her Name at less than 90 minutes, this dread-soaked, southern-fried neo-noir doesn't waste time turning the screws on its put-upon protagonist. Lee Bethany Ann Lind is introduced having recently survived an attack and possibly killed a man lying dead on the floor of her garage. She knows exactly what happened, the viewer is kept in the dark. As the tension builds, more information about Lee's situation is revealed and the circumstances surrounding the man's death, which involve Lee's currently incarcerated ex-husband, become clearer. Working in the same steely tradition as the recent indie hit Blue Ruin from director Jeremy Saliner, Blood on Her Name doubles down on family drama instead of loading up on gunfights, brawls, or standoffs. When violence does occur, it has an impact. Even if some of the dialogue rings generic at times and the supporting performances aren't all of the same caliber, the movie's resistance to cheap irony is admirable and Lind gives the type of grounded, lived-in performance that makes an indie like this feel like a hidden gem. 2. Birds of Prey Birds of Prey, the recently retitled Suicide Squad spin-off starring Margot Robbie's joyfully defiant Harley Quinn, didn't exactly light up the box office in the same way last year's Oscar-nominated Joker movie did, but it's a lot more fun. 
That's mostly thanks to the tightly choreographed, inventively staged fight scenes, which director Kathy Yan films in a way that channels both the hand-to-hand -hand combat of John Wick and the more Baroque tendencies of the Joel Schumacher Batman era. If the convoluted flashback structure occasional grates and some of the jokes fall flat, the action more than makes up for it, which is pretty rare for a big studio superhero release these days. 1. Bad Boys for Life In what hasn't exactly been a great year for action movies so far, Bad Boys for Life has to be the biggest surprise. Given its lengthy production history, its January release date, and the departure of series director Michael Bay, the action auteur gets a winking cameo here, perhaps taking a break from shooting Netflix's Six Underground, this movie could have been a disaster. Instead, Smith and Lawrence easily slip back into the roles that made them action movie icons in the 90s and the writers find a way to update the garish, over-the-top aesthetic of the series for the franchise era. In a wise decision, directors Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala don't even bother trying to top the excess and mayhem of Bay's Bad Boys 2. Bad Boys for Life is a gentler, sillier movie than its predecessor, less interested in moments of vulgarity than in scenes of sitcom like human connection and familial melodrama. There are explosions and car chases through the streets of Miami and jokes about getting too old for this shit, but the material is given a light touch that lets the two stars do what they do best. Hope you like this video. Make sure to like this video and also subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Also which videos you want next do comment in comment section. Thanks for watching.